Hey gang, thanks for joining in. Today we're going to be talking about motivation and success and ways to be successful in all different realms, uh, whether it's academic, personal, social. So let's get started and find out on ways that we can stay motivated and stay active in our daily lives. First and foremost, what is motivation and what is success? Success is defined as the accomplishments of aims and purposes. So what is my aim? What is my purpose? We can't have success if we do not know what is guiding us. Think of your aim as your target when we're going about this. For our ACT, SAT students, what is your aim? What is your target goal score-wise? The purpose of that score is to get into a good university. For our individuals in our motivational program, what are ways in that my target and aim to be successful in my career, to be successful in my relationship, to be successful in my spiritual well-being? What are the targets I need to reach to define my purpose? Now, everyone wants to be successful. Everyone wants to have that victory and the goal that they're trying to reach. All of that can be achieved if we keep on going. So that goes to our next topic of motivation. Our motivation is our reason for acting or behaving as we do. If we are in a very strong state of excelling and getting to where we need to be, we're going to be highly motivated. We're going to want to succeed. We're going to behave very aggressively towards achieving that goal. The key targets of motivation, and again, we're going to list three. I like to take things slow and make sure we have time to delve in. Uh, every unit will have specific focuses and specific chapters. This is kind of a very brief overview of motivation, but what I find most important is that ability to activate the intensity or passion to stay motivated and the persistence of staying and learning and achieving our goals. If we are not persistent, we're not going to be active and we're going to lose that intensity. It all works together. Again, there's very, there's a lot of steps to motivation. It's, an, it's very individualized to the person, but these are three that we can kind of all relate to and kind of just start talking about what we define as motivation. The psychology of success. Now, psychology is the study of the mind and kind of just the processes of the mind. The psychology of success is delving into what we find as successful. Now, success and kind of the, our mission statement here is kind of just what did you learn? What did you learn today? What did you learn this week? What did you learn this year? We're always constantly learning and our mission statement goes down with the idea of we are lifelong learners. We're always wanting to learn and be successful in our lives. So we start by asking ourselves, what did we learn today? How do we make today successful? How do you keep going? How do you keep motivated when things get tough? These are very, very strong questions that we can ask ourselves. And the way we ask ourselves is by writing them down. Everything we do is always, always, always pen and paper. Pen and paper. It's so important to being successful. Writing down what we learned in uh, the moment can really help us and really shape us in being successful. Now, I, when we define steps to success, these steps need to be clearly written down. Again, we can write down 10, 20, 30 steps. It's very, very important because we're getting it out of our head. One of the most brilliant minds of all time, Albert Einstein, said, why remember something when you can write it down? That's a pretty profound statement. Why remember something if you can write it down? The ability to write down and put our thoughts on paper gets them out of our head. And when we start clearly defining our steps, and now just to clarify real quick, we're writing down our steps. We're not acting on them. We're not in the activation phase. We're just writing down our steps. When we write down our steps, we are clearly defining our roadmap to success. We're not acting on it yet because guess what? We need to, we need to write that map because everyone's journey is different. 
Is it academic? Is it personal? Is it social? What is the goal we're trying to obtain? So when we get our map, our roadmap written down, we're going to have a better picture and how we're going to act on it. And that's the kind of a beautiful part of this journey. We can go about that together. Kind of continuing further with the psychology of success, when we write down our activation plan, how can we cha how can we tackle these challenges we are facing? We're all facing challenges and sometimes it can be overwhelming. They can be bombarding us in every different direction. How can we tackle these challenges specifically and how can we stay motivated? These challenges are going to come in any way, shape, or form. We can have a great day and we can have a bad day, but staying focused on our tasks and kind of reminding yourself of your effort. We're all struggling in something, but if you can take time out to appreciate yourself, and again, we'll have a big presentation on gratitude. I'm a big, big fan of gratitude. I find it so important to be grateful for everything we have in every moment and every day, but right now, how can we appreciate our efforts and appreciate ourselves in what we're doing in this moment, in the next moment, today, tomorrow? Remind yourself that your efforts count. There's no small effort. There's no large effort. You are making an effort every day, and it's being appreciated by you, by the universe, by everyone. Again, let's write down a risk there's a risk I've been wanting to take. There's something I wanted to try. There's something I've been wanting to do. Write down this risk that you've been wanting to take. We can add it to our roadmap and add it to our plan, but when we clearly write down the risk we're wanting to take, we can better negotiate with ourselves, our life coach, someone mentoring us on how we can take that plunge. And if that risk is worth taking now, or maybe we should hold off. But writing down that risk will get it out of your head, get it on paper, and then you can balance the pros and cons. Again, improvements are slow. They take time. Don't rush. By writing everything down, we're getting out of our heads and we're getting it on paper. We're not acting on everything yet. We're not acting on a lot of things because we're just trying to get all these thoughts in our mind down on paper and then we're just going to organize them. And then slowly, 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 we're going to try to see how we can be successful. Going back to our aim. Now, our aim is to what? What's our aim in life? We need to live with a purpose. We need to learn with a purpose and we need to grow with a purpose. Kind of take time to write down ways in which you live with a purpose, ways in which you're learning with a purpose and ways in which you're gonna grow with purpose. Now that we took some time kind of just to gather our thoughts and again pause the video if you need to take more time to you know kind of write it down. These are big questions but I'm just going to kind of go on to the next uh, next thing but again pause it if you need to. What is my one year, two year, five year, ten year plan? Don't have It doesn't have to be specific but what what am I trying to do? You know I'm shooting a target. I'm shooting a bow and arrow to a target. W where am I aiming it? What's my purpose? Am I trying to hit that main goal in 10 years? Am I trying to hit it in five years? Is this obtainable? It, what are my goals? And how do I aim and focus these goals with purpose? That aim, that precision is what is going to make us successful. Because our precision and our aim is going to help us define our purpose, which is going to help us get to our goal, and which is going to help us stay motivated which is going to make us ultimately successful, which is the goal. We want to be successful in life. Our purpose. Purpose is defined as the reason for which something exists. Things exist with a purpose. They were, they were created. They were made. Your purpose is your intention or your desire. It is your end. Now, this is a very big word because end doesn't mean the end. End just means the end of one thing and the beginning of another. Your purpose is your aim and your purpose is your goal. A few of my students have asked, well, you're using purpose and aim interchangeably. I'm, I'm confused. So they, they can be used interchangeably. Your aim is guiding your purpose. Once you obtain that purpose in that moment, 
you're going to flip because now your purpose is guiding you towards your next goal. It's going to be that starting point that's going to show you to your next target, your next goal. So again, we start with one aim, we define our purpose. Once we've defined our purpose, we gather everything we know, we take our next aim and we shoot and we shoot for that next goal and we shoot with such veracity that we obtain our purpose. If you keep your focus, you will keep your aim and you can obtain anything that you set your mind to. It's a very, very profound statement and I feel like it's just something that's not utilized because we go out through life and we really, you know, just we just take a, we take a blank shot in the dark. We don't really think about what are my goals, what are my aims, what am I trying to accomplish. But we're starting that because you're writing those down. You're taking your time, you're taking that effort, you've set the intention to write down our, your goals and now we can talk about how we can stay motivated and what motivates you. Motivation, what motivates me? What helps me get up in the morning to succeed? Is it my career, is it my family, is it the perspective, hope of a better future, what motivates me? It's such an important, it's, it's, it's very, very important because it helps me stay motivated. If I have clear definitions of what motivates me, and I kind of have a bad day where I don't really feel like, hey, I can't give 120, per, I can't give 120% today, I can't, I just can't do it. How do I stay motivated? What drives me to succeed? Those questions, ask yourself every day. Take time to ask yourself every day because it can really help you when you're having those situations of, hey, I'm not able to do it. And again, talk to someone. If you're not feeling that it's your best day, tell your best friend, tell your life coach, tell your mentor, tell your tutor, hey, today's not a great day. I'm not feeling it. I want to chill. Let's just, you know, take it one step at a time. By having good motivation, we can see our goals, and if we're not feeling our at 120% today, again, and this is kind of a side note, I always tell all my you know, students, we don't give 100%, we give 120% every single day. 100% doesn't exist in this world, you need to give 120%. If I'm not at 120%, let me look at my list of my goals, because my goals define my success, and those will help me stay motivated, and those will drive me to succeed. That written list, again, you write it down write it down every day crumple it up into a ball and throw it away and then rewrite it rewrite your goals rewrite what makes you successful and how to be successful every single day because that's going to that's what's going to push you that's what's going to push you to the next level and to make you a better person talking about motivation and again there's so many different components to motivation we're just going to really touch up on these three things Activation, intensity, and persistence. So, activation means making something or awakening. Right now, if you're watching these videos for the first time, or this is you know your first introduction to our material, it's really important that you see this as an awakening. There is active, so in science there's potential energy and there's kinetic energy. Think of this as your activation energy potential. You're activating something in you. You are awakening this motivation and you're awakening this desire to succeed and change something in your life. That awakening is fueled by intensity. Again, it's this force. Intensity is defined as a force to exert change. You're going to take this activation potential energy and you're going to push so much motivation into it. You're going to exert so much force that it's going to create a level of persistence that is going to keep on pushing you, that's going to keep on driving you, that's going to keep you motivated regardless of the situation. These are very, very important and just kind of as you know as we get toward the end of the end of the presentation motivation is the key motivation will help us be successful with aim and purpose but again we need to activate it it needs to have force to change we need to 
put these changes into motion and we need to be persistent we need to do them every day that way we can stay at the level we're going at and we can just see drastic we can see drastic changes just by changing one small thing in your life you can see drastic drastic changes every single day so kind of just to summarize everything that we talked about today motivation how do i define my motivation you know, I have kind of some, you know, ways we have our activation, we have our intensity, we have our persistence, kind of just define some ways that you stay motivated. Success, what what drives my success? How do I stay successful? And again, what is my ultimate goal that I'm going to obtain by having all this success? And you will be successful. You have all this success. So what is that manifest itself in? Aim. Aim and purpose go hand in hand. What is your aim and how does it define your purpose? And your purpose, what is your purpose and how does it aim you towards your goal? Kind of some articles to look at. And again, I'm a big lifelong learner. These articles have really inspired kind of a lot of this presentation mixed with our course material that we're kind of teaching in our um, course. Uh, there's a great article about on about the psychology of success. Um, it's a mindset uh, mindset presentation. It's a phenomenal book. I would definitely, definitely check it out. Um, there's another very, very good book about the benefits of frequent positive affect and happiness and success. And it's really in a it's in a good psychological magazine. It's an older article, but really, does hap how does happiness lead to success? We think of success defining happiness. This article flips it and talks about doing what makes you happy and how it can make you make you successful and finally um, this is kind of just talking about perceiving the causes of success and failure uh, success and failure go hand in hand we really haven't talked much about you know both of them together that's for a later presentation but as of right now just focusing on your goals and how to be successful are very very important for all um, for anyone watching this presentation and kind of going forward Thank you guys for tuning in. Again, if you're interested in any type of tutoring or mentoring, we have a great team of life coaches. We have a great team of mentors. We have a great team of tutors. Contact us anytime. Um, we've got our we've available on Facebook. We've got a great email. We'll get you. We'll get back to you within 12 to 24 hours, and you can call us anytime. My name is Hamza Haki, and I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you.